be it taking pictures, be it making videos, be it using the iPad. New tablets, whiteboards, Big Macs. Computers, iPads, cameras. All tablets, uh, interactive whiteboards, Wii, Xbox. We use um, switches which are very flexible within the classroom. Um, and they can be used throughout the curriculum in all, all areas. They can use the electric mixer, the electric blender, even PMLD kids can just put their hands on the big switch. So we use iPads as AEC devices, we use iGaze technology for communication. PSHE is, 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 comes alive when you actually um, seek out interesting things on the internet. We can do maths, uh, writing, uh, art. Play games or making videos or a we're filming we're filming students we use it for music we use it for treason we use it for writing it's mostly like a all-purpose film recording the songs putting out a cd selling them we use publisher a lot in in the mini enterprise that we do um, we use YouTube a lot for, um, particularly for history. With the best book in the world is just not able to illustrate in as convincing and an understanding way. Showing it on the whiteboard is the best way to show a student, you know, a student like Piyomadi how to use technology. If we need to do um, relaxation, meditation, which we do quite a lot of in yoga, we have a student that can go and, and, and get a playlist for us and they sort out the music. So we use it everywhere. People with autism are visual, visual learners, so technology is really, really helpful in terms of that. Being able to show them the video um, just uh, solidifies the learning for them. Technology is wonderful for communication. If you, if you don't have good communication, it helps to interact with students. Technology is perfect for pupils with PMLD because it is predictable and it always does the same thing. They enjoy things that are sensory and immediate and there is an immediate reaction. With a computer, more than one of their senses is stimulated at any one time. They can handle the mouse, they enjoy the, the visuals and they can hear as well. And technology allows me to to personalise it so they can use the music that they like or the videos that they like. They're able to change their environment. It might be changing the lights, it might be playing a sound effect, it might be making a request. You know when they're angry, like, um, you let them go on the computer for five, ten minutes and then they get calmer. They learn to really concentrate for extended periods of time, which they can then transfer to other areas of the curriculum. The beauty of technology with my pupils is that it gives them more independence than they would have otherwise. Something they can do on their own. It gives them leverage over their skills, so it might be that they find spelling very difficult or that they, uh, their presentation they find gripping a pen very hard, but uh, using technology they can uh, present work of a really professional quality. If you, have, uh, if you can't spell properly, maybe because the computer can do it for you. Not do it for you, but if you spell it wrong you can I know it helps, but I don't know how to explain it. That it brings the lesson alive. I think it's about sense of self um, and have a sense of agency and a sense that you can make something happen. Uh, I think it allows them to overcome many of the barriers presented by their, their special needs. It kind of opens a bigger set of opportunities and skills. And it goes back to the quality of life. You know, here's something I can do on my own, I can control it, I'm having fun. And lastly, but most importantly, I think it's fun. Technology makes learning fun. Mm hmm, very much. I do enjoy it.